Hi dolls, this is Nyan Kong and I'm so excited to be collaborating with CoverGirl today to teach you how to get the perfect shade match using the CoverGirl's True Blend Man Made Foundation. So if you want to know how I got this flawless look, please continue watching. So guys, we're starting this look on a clean and moisturized face. That is all I have done today. Um, so next, I'm going to go in and start using the Matte Ambition Mattifying Skin Primer from CoverGirl. This is their full spectrum line. This is a very, it's not like a harsh matte, it's a very liquidy, like moisturizer-like um, primer. So, but it does get tacky, which I think will make it a great base for um, the foundation to go on. Next, I'm actually gonna be using the CoverGirl True Blend Business Base um, Primer, and this is the Illuminating Primer. I'm gonna use just a touch of this on the high points of my face just because I want a little bit of glow to peek through. So I'm just gonna tap that into the high points of my cheeks. Right here too, because I like a little shine there. I'm gonna do a little bit down the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, and just on the chin as well. And whatever is left, we're just gonna massage onto the cheeks. You want to find your foundation and today I'm using the CoverGirl's True Blend Matte Made Foundation. This is has been my favorite foundation for a while. So the Matte Made Foundation has finally expanded its family. It comes now in 40 shades and this shade right here, D90 or Espresso, is the new addition to those shades. Um, this is a comfort matte and they have amazing technology that makes it that it's like a layer of skin and it moves and works with your skin so it has a nice soft film and you get that matte look without feeling dry or super like harsh on your skin so this is what I love about this foundation I'm just now gonna work that now um, what's amazing is that also they're all the foundations have been categorized into um, undertones so the, the D90 or Espresso is actually in the cool undertone so to get your best shade match in this foundation, you want to figure out what undertone you are. And that could either be cool, warm, or a neutral undertone. And I'm in the cool family. I will actually put a map just so you guys can better pick your shade of the foundation to figure out what undertone you are. And you could also go into the store and match yourself. Um, this is a drugstore, but you won't be able to open the foundation but you can go ahead and like test some things out when it comes to foundation I think it's the most important thing because if you miss you could have a shade that you think matches you but it's not your correct undertone and it can not be a match at all and that's something I just started to learn because back in the day you just used to go base I used to go base off the darkest shade so it's amazing when even drugstores have start expanding their shade range because I've loved CoverGirl but I think this is literally the Mad May Foundation is the first foundation I've ever tried in their line just because they finally have something that fits, which I think is amazing for a drugstore. So it's like an amazing price and you can have so many options to pick from. So I'm gonna be using the Full Spectrum um, All Day Idol Briny Concealer and I have in the shade Deep Cool. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that and I like it because obviously it has brightening technology built into it so it will correct like if you have those dark circles like this is like a peachy orangey shade so it will be correcting any dark circles I'm going to use it as a prime primer for this lid Now I'm going to be taking the CoverGirl Full Spectrum and this is also in Deep Cool number 4 and this is their Press Powder. Look at how chocolatey that looks. I don't know, the camera's picking it up a bit lighter but I'm going to be using it to set everything. It is setting my skin so nicely. 
this matches so well. So I'm gonna be taking the Reverence Full Spectrum Palette, and I'm gonna be taking this brown shade right here, the light shade. I'm gonna be using it as my transition color. I'm gonna do a bit of a smoky eye. So I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. So I'm gonna be taking the Full Spectrum Defining Moment Black is Black Eyeliner to go ahead and do a low line. I'm gonna take a little smudger pencil brush and just really smudge that out. Next, I'm gonna take another brush and take that darker brown shade and pack it kind of all on top of what we just did to kind of make it a brownie smoky eye. Just like that, I want it to be a very subtle smoky eye. Now the CoverGirl Exhibitionist, Exhibitionist, I can't say this, <laughs> I'm going to be taking the CoverGirl Exhibitionist um, Waterproof Mascara. Go ahead and coat these lashes. I legit don't have lashes, but you'll see what happens. So now this is the Sculpt Expert in Rose Rush and I'm going to be using that as a highlight and blush situation. Ooh, it is quite pigmented. So then I'm going to be taking that gold shade in the middle and that's going to be my highlight shade. I like the way that it sits on the skin, like I feel like it's melting. That is so pigmented, like it's crazy. And then now I'm going to take that dark brown shade right there from this palette that I used to smoke out. I'm just gonna use it to chisel out my cheeks a little. Just gonna do a little contour on the sides of the nose. For lips today, I wanted to do something a little vampy. So I'm gonna be taking the full spectrum matte idle lip, and this is in the shade Fortune. I'm gonna be using that to put on big bold lips and these lips sticks are so nice and lightweight and very very Okay, y'all, this right here is the completed look, and I hope you go ahead and get your hands on your CoverGirl's True Blend Mad Made Foundation to go ahead and find your perfect shape match.